And also, Mr. Chad Allen, who is our special guest, it kind of feels kind of fancy, kind of snazzy to have an automated dispenser, right? <laughs> I kind of like it. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're staying at a hotel every time you use it, right? Hi, Adam. Hi, everybody. Welcome to my home. Yeah, you're getting two today, right? So don't just think of yourself. Think of your neighbors, your mom, your aunt, your sister. Think of a lot of people. But, Adam, you started it correctly. Fallon Howe. I mean, they innovate something new every week. They're basically in every category here. In fact, they've been in business over 110 years. They've been here at the network for a decade, and they're in over 99 countries. So if you're going to trust somebody to make something for your home, you can rely on Bell & Howell. This video right here, maybe your hands are dirty. Maybe you just finished cooking with raw meat, or you just come in from the outside. What is the one thing you don't want to do is touch anything. Stop touching things. <laughs> if that's one thing we've learned in 2020 and 2021, it's, well, we're a little more cautious than we used to be. There's a see-through container that makes it really convenient to know when you're running low, but we're talking soap, hand soap, dish soap, hand sanitizer, face wash, any liquid you put into the filled top uh, container, uh, you're able to use in this automatic soap dispenser. So I'm gonna give you a little tour and I'm gonna show you how I use it real quick. This is the unit itself. This container right here is over nine ounces. When I, you probably already noticed, this one's empty. But when I put my hand underneath, watch what happens. It lights up, it illuminates the inside. It stays on for three seconds and then automatically turns off. I didn't move my hand. Look, my hand is still there and it's shut off. Watch, I'll show you again. Look what happens. That light comes on and then it goes off automatically after three seconds. It stops dispensing. But if you don't want three seconds, that's okay. I can put my hand there and quickly pull it away and it automatically shuts off. But now you're probably saying, all right, Chad, I get it. But how much soap is it putting out? Is it, is it wasting anything? No, no, no. Bell and Howell, the innovators they are. I'm gonna show you on a green sponge. It automatically dispenses the right amount of liquid depending on the thickness. It's just so brilliant. When I put this underneath, I want you to see what happens. See that pink soap go onto the green sponge? Yeah. This is my dish soap. Isn't this the right amount of dish soap sure. to use on your dishes? We pretend like it's um, uh, like, a, like a, a robot for your home, like a smart robot. It knows what it's doing. But what we're really doing is we're stopping to use and try to get every last drip out of our dish soap. Stop touching this, by the way, or the hand soap or the hand sanitizer. And Oh goodness, what about the bars of soap? I mean, they're fine, they smell nice, but you still have to touch everything, right? Speaking of this, you know how you try to get every last drop out, Adam? Well, with the Bell and Hell dispenser, it goes down, up, and then out. So you're guaranteed to get every last drop of the product we spend precious money on. But Adam, this is only our second show. We launched this last week and I think it might be our last. Uh, indeed, Mr. Chad, you are right. Our producer, <laughs> Allison, just told me four minutes before sellout. How many did you say left, Allison? 1,200 left for the entire country. I know our team, again, Michelle, our lead planner, tried to get more of these for tonight. It just was not meant to be. But needless to say, the two-pack for this price is worth every penny. One by the kitchen sink, one by uh, the bathroom sink. It's gonna dispense liquid soaps, hand soap, even sanitizer if you want it to. Obviously, it's more hygienic because you're not having to touch or press or pump anything down. You simply place your hand under it and it gives you the perfect amount. So what people are saying about it is there's less waste. We're not using too much. It's more convenient. The kids love it as well. The grandkids love it. It's enticing to wash your hands a bit more when you've got this little robot that's dispensing the soap for you. Before the show, I was doing some research on my own to try and find comparable products. I always like to do that to see how good a value ours is. It was hard to find a, uh, a, a better brand doing things like this for this value. The one I found was $69 for one and it was a name I'd never heard of, let alone it being Bell and & Howell and you getting a two-pack. Great size, great amount of fill. And Chad, I also love the fact that you do have the illumination in there. I think that's a nice little feature, day or night. <laughs> that's right. In fact, I'll wash my hands for you so you can actually see. I'll put my hand underneath. I'll get that soap. This is dish soap, a nice pink dish soap, but I'll show you. And as I'm doing this, we're gonna sing the happy birthday song twice, not really but uh, I'm gonna speed it up for TV purposes. <laughs> I just sort of want you to think about a few things. I want you to think about your bathroom. I want you to think about the kids' bathroom. And then right behind me, there's actually one by my front door. Can you see it right there on that little glass table? I have sanitizer in there, all right? And now that my hands are nice and clean, 
I want you to think about picking up more than one set. And what I mean by that is the half bath, the master bath, the kids bath, the kitchen sink, the front door, the garage. I had a mom write me and she said, Chad, like you have by your front door, this is sanitizer. If I put, you can see it illuminate, which is so cool. She said, I pop it in my purse because when I take the kids to the playground and to the park and we do a little picnic, they don't have to touch anything. I can share this with other moms because I'm not worried about them grabbing my bottle and using the pump. I can just set it right on the picnic table, on the playground, and everybody can use it. It really is convenient. Think about the restaurants we're going to, the outdoor seating. Put this on the restaurant table, and then you don't have to get on and hound the kids. Okay, okay, little Johnny, go use the bathroom, wash your hands. All right, Becky, go use the best restroom, wash your hands. Everybody can have that sanitizer right where they want it because that fill top lid actually has a little silicone ring, which fills that hole. So you don't have to worry about throwing this in your purse because on the very bottom is actually an on off switch. So you can turn it off. So if you do want to throw it in your handbag, you don't have to worry about it uh, automatically coming on. All you need to do is put four AAA batteries right in the bottom. There is no wiring needed. You don't have to drill into your, you know, your granite countertops to install something that's electronic like you would normally. But at the end of the day, at the end of the week, you're going to feel very satisfied because it's a hygienic way, Adam, to wash and sanitize your hands. But even your face wash. Chelsea might love this. It, well, no, it makes sense. Chad, you put, look, you could it put does. any liquid soap in there. Again, we're talking hand sanitizer because it's very timely. But any liquid soap mm -hmm. in there, yep. you place it in, you put your hand under, it dispenses the perfect amount. It'll stop sooner yep. if you want it to, but you're not <laughs> touching anything. Less germs, cross-contamination, right? Uh, the price is phenomenal. If you want to get a couple sets, again, maybe one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom, but then one for the other bathroom, Room, it's worthwhile doing. There are no other presentations scheduled for the reason that you nope. see on your screen. That's all we have <laughs> left. A lot of the products that we're talking about tonight have been in heavy demand because of the crazy times that we're in, but an automated soap dispenser, Two of them for less than $30 yeah. is really worth every penny. I'm glad that Chad talked about Bell & Howell because there is certainly a, a, a premium element to that. Chad, one of the things, and I know we keep saying the amount, but uh, one of the things that one of our uh, crew guys was saying before the show, before they saw it was, and it was James, he was saying that he was he wondered if it was small, because sometimes on TV you can't oh. gauge. This is a good size. Yeah, it's nine ounces, but they thought about counter height, right? So they didn't want it to make it too tall, so it was you know underneath your counter or anything like that. Almost uh, 9.46 ounces can fit into the container, but it's basically the size of like a hand. And that's what they wanted to do. They wanted a compact to be able to take it with you because again, there's no wires, it's battery operated. But at the end of the day, you can still fit a whole bottle or a whole bottle of soap or sanitizer right here in the container, Adam. Individually boxed as well. Mr. Chad Allen, thank you, sir. Great to see you, my friend. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Chad. Uh, stay in the order and process. I'll let you know when it's gone. Coming up.